In GTA, we can use Vertex Alpha to blend between terrain textures. This works by creating an opaque base model without any transparencies, and then a separate model with Vertex Alpha. In order for this to work, we need to layer each texture onto a separate group of polygons, which should be offset from the bottom mesh ever so slightly, just enough to prevent Z fighting. You can also have multiple textures per layer, but this is not easy with all models. If you are on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to Max Legacy and restart 3DS Max. Let's start creating a basic terrain using OSL noise maps. If you are on an older version, you might have to use the standard noise map, but that is not a problem as you will still be able to follow along. We can reduce the poly count in various ways, such as Pro Optimizer, Multi Res, or Retopology modifiers. For an even distribution of quads, the Retopology modifier tends to work the best. I would like to have layer 1 as sand, layer 2 as rock, layer 3 as grass, and layer 4 as dirt. Each layer can be extruded with a small value such as 0.01 .01 using local normals. In some cases, you may want to use group normals or a shell modifier if local normals doesn't work well. An extrusion value of 0.01, .01 which is 1 cm, gives decent results without much Z fighting from longer distances. Lower values such as 0.002 works when close up, but start Z fighting after you walk a bit away. If you are only blending two textures with each other, meaning the ground layer and one alpha layer, then you will only need one extrusion. In Material Editor, create a multi-material container and set number to 4. Drag and drop your textures into each material slot. Change the material colors to white from within the multi sub object container. In the last three materials, add a vertex color map set to ID 9. This is so that we can preview the vertex blend inside of 3DS Max. Add the multi material to your model. Unwrap your UVs. Create a copy and extrude by 0.01 in local normals. If you press Alt-X and zoom in close to the mesh, you will be able to see how it's offset. Control y and delete the unwanted extruded faces around the border. In Render Settings, choose Custom Resolution in something like 640 x 360. Press Shift-Q and toggle UI off in the Render Frame window. Change the mesh material ID to 2. Add a vertex paint modifier set to channel 9. Paint it all black. Paint the top and side of the hills white. It's okay to also paint the bottom sides. Shift Q to iterate as needed. It's also possible to use other render engines and use their IPR modes for real-time updates, but these tend to use a lot of system resources, making it more difficult to paint.
Press F4 to see edged faces so that you can see the depth of the model. Create another copy and extrude and set material ID to 3. Paint grass details on top of the hills. Create another copy and, and extrude and set material ID to 4. Paint in small dirt details around the hill bottoms.
When satisfied with the result, merge the alpha layers to one mesh. Remove any black faces as they won't be rendered in-game and are therefore bloated geometry. Copy channel 9 data to vertex alpha channel. The reason for this is the two channels are responsible for rendering vertex alpha during day and night each. Set up your vertex colors. I'm just adding gray color to both. Export both without light flag and with vertex prelights and extra vertex colors. Vertex alpha cannot render with light flag, which is the setting that adds skylighting and some exposure to models. Export the base terrain collision. If you have multiple layers of vertex alpha, it may be desirable to push the collision up a bit by extruding it in local normals corresponding to the total amount that was extruded when creating the layers. With MTA, you can reuse the base terrain collision for the alpha blend as well, but if you are modding single player, you will instead need to create a separate collision for the alpha blend. To do so, import your collision into Steve M's Collision Editor and click Create LOD, delete the original collision, and save as collision. As alpha blend is only an overlay, it won't need its own collisions but only collision bounding box and sphere. 